Hello no one, I'm Zanna and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about something that happens to all of us, the dreaded art plateau. The drawing I have playing in the background is a character sheet for Saga that I did a little while ago. Part of her story is that she collects items off the bodies of people that get lost in her forests and pass away because they don't need their stuff anymore, right? <laughs> back to the art plateau. It's when you get comfortable with what you draw, or maybe you just keep drawing the same thing over and over. You're bored, you're frustrated, maybe you feel art blocked. For me, experiencing a plateau in my art is one of the worst things I can imagine. I've mentioned before how much I dislike feeling like I'm not progressing, and this definitely translates into my art. So how do we escape? Well, I have three tips to help get you pointed in the right direction. First, practice with intention. You can doodle all day, every day, and never improve. When you're sketching, find reference and really make sure that you're consciously consuming the material. Sketch studying should be more than just your hands and eyes connecting. Make sure you're engaging your brain. If you're studying color, make sure you're looking for the midtones, pay attention to value, and just make sure that you're hunting your weaknesses to overcome them. Second, break your routine. Draw something you've never tried to draw before, maybe a medium that you've always been shy about. Try going outside or going to a different place in your house to create. Try to rotate your methods of creating art. If you're like me, have days where you do digital art and other days where you focus more on traditional art. Maybe have another day where you do something crafty or even crochet. I have a blanket that I'm working on that is taking forever, but I can't wait until it's done. <laughs> By breaking up your creative cycle, you let your brain refresh, and before long, you'll be craving to go back to your favorite medium with some rad ideas. Third, get comfortable being uncomfortable. You'll never escape the plateau and start climbing the art mountain if you avoid being uncomfortable. I had a moment of blank canvas panic this week, finally starting out on a piece that I've been planning and life has just kept me from beginning the past couple weeks. I sat down in front of it, I propped up on my easel like it had been four days. <laughs> I had all my paint spread around me. I took a deep breath and began. You have to jump over the threshold of uncomfortableness to make progress. Most of the time, your feeling of being uncomfortable is just lying to you anyways. As soon as my brush touched the canvas, I remembered how much I love painting and proceeded to completely overdo it and paint for way too long. I'm paying for that today. Also, I'm recording that, um, so you can look forward to a video of it in the future. I hope today's video helped you out a bit. Kayla mentioned to me that I've been sounding pretty stiff in the voiceovers and I'm doing my best to stop being so nervous about them. I've never really liked my voice, so putting it out there is a little nerve-wracking. <laughs> I'm really enjoying making videos. Of course, I'm not an expert by any means, but I do enjoy teaching and I feel like one of the best ways to learn something is to research with the intent to teach it. So look at us learning together. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in for today's video. I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate. Even if you don't, remember to let your loved ones know that you're thankful for them. I'll see you guys on Tuesday for the next video. As always, let's take each day, each plateau, and every pumpkin pie one at a time. Bye!